number of years ago, my brother-in-law, Frederick Ballone, who was the educational director at Christie's in Paris, came to visit us and uh, went to church with us. And when he came to our church and had an experience with the vibrant teaching of the Word, modern contemporary worship that really spoke to a personal relationship with Christ, um, he had a, an, his first experience in where he really felt he had encountered Christ. When he went into the rest of the church, the lobby, and saw that there was no art, he was flabbergasted. Where was the art that expressed this vibrant relationship with Christ? The first time I came to America, I thought, wow, well, we, you uh, being such a religious country, uh, you don't have so many, many uh, religious arts, which struck me, obviously, because I'm French, I'm living in Paris, I'm an art historian, so I can't even tell you how many churches and, and places I went to in France, and I've seen so many, so many works of art, religious art, I mean, so I was a little bit flamagasted that in the U.S. you don't have that very much. So we began a quest, really, to begin to explore how can we better visually communicate Christ to our culture using the amazing talents of artists who are believers to help pair a visual with the written word. Through history, uh, faith-based art has preserved our uh, theologies in a biblically illiterate culture. The arts are a vital part of worship, and it's not just something to beautify the church, but God had a purpose, has a purpose for the arts, and it's just as important as singing praises to God. Invite all these people into their work, say, you're all welcome. My artwork would say, please come, each and every one of you, you're all welcome here. We are acting as ambassadors of Christ. The painting um, people as um, showing them well, I, I try to paint them as how God would see them, that they're, that they're unique, that he loves them, wants to be reconciled to them. So Masterpiece Christian Fine Art really has a threefold purpose. One is to help support master Christian artists, who many of them today are making a living working for major corporations who want to hire their talents because they're so skilled at telling a message. And yet many of them, their heart's desire is really to tell the message of Christ, commission them to do pieces that will be of lasting cultural and spiritual significance for our culture and our generation. Well, the very first few pieces, or few years was uh, a lot of universal work, uh, all based on movies like the Jaws uh, movies. Having worked at Lucasfilm, seeing people go, oh, you, you did the opening of E.T.? You worked on Star Wars? Whoa! And you go, yeah, I did that. You know, and it just, it's an illusion. It's, 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 it, it's, uh, it's fool's gold. Not just strictly Christian art, but things that, uh, that uh, I've had to do to make a living and other things that I do out of a passion for the subject. As I get older, I find that it's more important for me to, to do what God's calling me to do in my Work. There's a series of, I guess you could say, paintings and works that I want to do uh, based on my faith. As a calling concerning my art, absolutely. I have felt a calling since I was seven. I have firmly believed that what I do is a sacred trust and it's a vocation. Secondly, to really train up the emerging artists who will also be trained to be able to tell the biblical story. The value of this conference is, is twofold, I believe, is that it, uh, it gives great education in teaching some of the skills and techniques of good art, but it also it brings artists together and hopefully inspires them, gives them ideas uh, to be able to create new biblical art. So this is a great conference. I have watched uh, people just catch on fire for their vision of what they can do with their art to actually glorify God and to um, continue to develop technically and spiritually. It was such a blessing to be able to work with a lot of the master artists and they shared their technique and their experiences and how they integrated their faith. I couldn't believe that uh, these Christian artists they all are amazing and they inspired me so much. Since uh, Chris has invited me to come up to uh, the, the workshop, uh, I feel like it's a higher calling by far, I mean, from anything that I've done. Build a relationship with God and know who God is, first of all. Uh, that's, 
the most important thing that they could do. The important thing is not their art, it's their relationship with God. And out of that, they will see God do incredible things through their talent. Art is a wonderful cultural conversational bridge to be able to speak into our culture. And we've seen this um, in our traveling exhibit. We target major cities uh, in our culture and uh, infuse them with the light of Christ. And uh, we did sponsor our Let There Be Light exhibit, which traveled to three major cities, to Los Angeles, Seattle, and Dallas, 20,000 people came to view the exhibit from all over the world. 23 different countries were represented in our guests, multiple languages, and many, many were unbelievers who we were able to then um, begin to speak with concerning Christ. And actually the art itself can speak from the walls. And, and art obviously is a language that anybody can speak and anybody can understand. And in one of our venues, a Buddhist monk entered the building he had an, a yearning in his heart for something more of God. And as he toured the exhibit, he was no more than about a third of the way through the paintings. And he stopped and he, and he said to me, I realize now I've never known the true and living God. We're excited about a new exhibit that we're ready to launch uh, using the theme of animals throughout the scriptures, birds, beasts, and beauty a Genesis to Revelation alliance with the animals. This is another hugely popular um, topic in our culture. You see major advertisers, advertisers using the, the topic of animals and using them in commercials. And, um, and then interestingly, God has also used his animal creation from Genesis to Revelation to uh, expose more of his love, his character, the gospel, the parables, the creation, the major prophets, the book of Revelation. I mean, it's an exciting story, and we're excited to be able to tell that through art as well. Well, you know, you see a lot of Christian artists singing groups, and they have a lot of different uh, styles and techniques. I think it'd be amazing if the church would, or even society, would embrace that as much as they have Christian music. God wants to use art, wants to use music, wants to use architecture. He, he can even use, if you're a good cook, he'll use you if you're a great cook. So we want to use all these resources for the greater glory of God. And some pastors are starting to catch that vision.